Hey, what is going on, guys? Happy Thursday. Happy holiday season. It's almost Christmas. Countdown is real. We got four days to Christmas. Tis the season. Welcome back, guys, to the channel. Another live stream here in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. As always, it's Javi checking in. Hope everybody's week is going well. Uh, yeah, the holiday season. Christmas is almost here. Super excited to be back in the sim with you guys just before the holidays to uh, do one more live stream before we take a quick holiday break next week. Um, so looking forward to this one today. We are back in the beautiful Citation Longitude uh, Beta, um, G5000 Beta update. Uh, we are flying today, loving this bird so far. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Uh, we are headed up to, we are live on the ramp here where we left off on, what was it, Tuesday, here at uh, Sandspit uh, Airport. British Columbia. We're going to be heading up to uh, Dawson City up in a Yukon. Uh, so continuing our Canadian trek this week uh, before we uh, take a little holiday break. So looking forward to this one. Happy Thursday to you guys. Almost the weekend and almost uh, Christmas. So happy holidays to you guys. See, we got Charles in the house. Brownies, hello to you both. Good to see you both. Hope you guys are doing well. And happy holiday season to you guys. Um, so, yeah, that's the plan. Uh, flight time, we're looking at about an hour 50 minutes. We got four passengers, 300 pounds of cargo, 5,800 pounds of fuel today. Takeoff weight looks like 30,000 pounds even. So that is the plan. We got some very, very windy, cloudy weather here at Sandspit. So uh, it will be a <clears throat> interesting departure out of here. So we probably won't see too much of the water like we did on our arrival into Sandspit on Tuesday. But uh, we'll probably break out of the clouds uh, pretty quick on our way up to Dawson City. So we'll be going up the coast um, of Canada. So hopefully it's not too cloudy. We can get some nice coastal coast views as we head up to Dawson City. <clears throat> um, so yeah, super excited for this one today. Looking forward to uh, checking out the Canada coast as we head up north. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for tuning in and hanging out with us today. Appreciate you guys watching stopping by uh, and happy to have you for today's stream chat and if you are watching live please do say hello in chat love to uh, hear from you guys um, and if you guys do enjoy today's stream want to show your support to the channel as always please do hit the like and subscribe buttons i would uh, greatly appreciate that it is always a huge huge help to the channel so always always much appreciated um, and I do live stream weekly and exclusively here on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Uh, so if you guys do hit the notification bell, uh, you'll be notified for all of our uploads, future streams, all that good stuff. Will not miss a beat. So let's uh, get out of the wind and jump in the bird. Uh, much quieter. Much better. Sounds like our weather right now, brownies. Yeah, snowing and blowing. Yep. Oh yeah, to say the least, it is pretty ugly out here. All right, let's set our weight and balance first. We got 5,800 pounds of fuel, so we'll slide, what is that, 40%? That looks good, and 30,000 pounds even is our takeoff weight, so that works perfect. Good to go. Let's get our yoke out of the way and I'm just going to turn off our gins because for some reason they are on before we even turn 
the battery on. So let's do that. Let's get the batteries going. <clears throat> Left and right battery on. Let's get some. Actually, we'll do the floodlight. Let's go flood so we can see something in here. There we go. Maybe a little map light too. Beautiful. Let's get the standby power on. We'll reset our altimeter. Press and B on the keyboard. 3003. We'll full screen on you. Uh, we'll go nav source FMS for now. And let's start the APU. APU is flowing. Listen to her startup. APU is looks like 100%, so let's get the APU gen on. Beautiful. Um, get the warning off. Uh, let's go up top. Get the emergency lights on. And we'll go tail. And passenger buttons. Cool. We are just signed on to the VATSIM network, so we'll be on... That's in today. No coverage in the area as of right now. So we'll squawk 2000. We'll turn on and go frequency 122.8 for Unicom uh, until we get some ATC coverage. Beautiful. Why is the wing anti ice on? I did not turn that on. Cool. <clears throat> All right. So we ha don't have a SID today. So we We'll go ahead and just set our cruise, which is going to be 43,000 feet today. 43,000 even. Beautiful. And let's set our flight plan, shall we? Let's go to flight plan page. Our origin is going to be CYZP, stands bit to CY. Is it DA? Dawson City, yes. Beautiful. Um, add our end route. So our first direct YZP, which is, I think, just the VOR here. Yep. And then we are, we got an airway here. We are J501 exiting at Holly. And we will load that. And then we are direct to Bibum. B I B E M. Right? Yep. Direct to Bibum. And then there's no star either, so we're just going to go procedure straight into the approach. And let's get our charts out here. Sim Toolkit Pro. Navigraph, let's see, what are the winds here? Sanskrit winds are 110 at 25 gusting, no, 110 at 33 knots gusting, no, 110 at 25 gusting 33 knots, so it is going to be a gnarly takeoff, should be interesting. Um, so let's see. <clears throat> so we'll probably take off yeah one three and then left turn and head north so we'll do 13 for departure let's go Dawson City Airport chart see what our winds are looks like winds are calm temperatures minus 44 holy freezing yowzers that is cold up in Dawson City. Holy smokes. All right, so I think there's 
Wait, let me double check actually what the winds are on my laptop just to double check. Yeah, winds are calm, visibility, five miles. All right. Fair enough. All right, so what, let's see, what uh, set approach, what do we have here? Oops, well, I wanted to see the approaches. I think there's an approach for two zero or whatever the other uh, runway is, two one. But it'll probably just be easier to do runway three. So let's do <coughs> runway three Arnav Yankee. Let's just do that one. Pinbow. Easy enough. Pinbow, pinbow transition. Yeah, why not? Cool, so we'll do three, Arnav, Yankee, pinbow transition. We'll just throw in the minimums now. 2880. 20, <coughs> Minimums are good, and we'll load that. Now let's do show on flight, or show on map. We'll run through our uh, departure, or our flight plan real quick. So pretty much direct to our first airway, then Bivum transition, or no, Bivum direct, then Penbo transition for the approach. And we're pretty much straight in. We might even go, so we don't have to make that pinbow left turn if we can just do. Uh, what's, well, let's kid him. Ah, uh, that's the other way. Now nah, we'll leave it. We'll leave pinbow. Why not? So that all looks good. Let's see, we did have some. Constraints in there. Yeah, it looks like Enbo 210. <clears throat> and everything else looks like it is in there. <clears throat> 4700. We'll just make sure we're at 4700. At good tab. Yeah, that's our glide intercept. Cool. All right. Flight plan looks good. Let's scroll you all the way back. Let's just go home. Reset you. Beautiful. Um, so our flight plan is good to go. What is our runway heading for 13? 120 something. Yeah, 125. So let's set that one. 125. So we'll head south, taking off south, turning back to the north. Cool. And let's go back to the home page. We'll go perf, weight and balance, payload. So we got four passengers, 300 pounds, cargo, bags, zero for weight is 23, no, 24.3. So let's do uh, 120. Boom. 24.4. Perfect. Takeoff. We'll sink our fuel. 854 gallons. Beautiful. Reserves is going to be 1919. Reserves are in. Let's go back. Takeoff page. We're going to go 13 for departure. Let's load our weather. And use the outside temperature perfect runway anti-ice will be on oops anti-ice will be on everything else is good except our speeds v speeds good to go set our 
trim. We'll go negative 2.1. That seems to be the seat sweet spot for takeoff trim. And I think we are ready to start her up. I'll hit the B button on my yoke. Beacon is on. Good to go. And let's hit these little, what are they? The boost pumps on, back to norm. And we should be good to start from here. Set our camera for cooperate. Beautiful, set number two to run. And starter is engaged. Beautiful. Let's go outside. Let's do a fire up. She's spooling. Yeah, these engine starts are super quick. Let's go right gin on. <clears throat> and starter cut off. Set number one to run and starter is engaged. All right, number one is good, so we'll go left gen on, and we can go APU gen off and APU off. Get the map light off and our yoke back up here. So APU, she is pulling down nicely. Uh, let's get our split screen here for aircraft system and synoptics, flight controls. Beautiful. Let's reset our camera actually. Let's go. Altimeter is good. We'll go flight director on. We'll go ahead and select for takeoff. We'll set flaps one for takeoff. That is good to go. FMS speed is already preset in BNAV. So let's go flight controls up, down, left, right, right rudder, left rudder. Good to go. And let's go transponder TA only is set to on. We're squawking to 1000. And on Unicom on VATSIM, it's 122.8. I'm assuming we're the only bird out here. Yes, so we will not be in anybody's way. Let's get our chart out here. Hi to you. And we'll back taxi uh, to runway 13. Take off to the south left turn, head north good to go awesome um, let's see anti-ice no icing indicator so should be all right there we'll go full screen and let's go split screen and we'll zoom you out a little bit let's go a uh, mile Q V speeds are good uh, what else we got? We'll go taxi light. We'll flood off, actually. Taxi light on. So we can see where we're going. Parking brake. You can go off. And let's do it. Let's pull them up. We'll 
We are rolling. We are out of here, Sandspit Island. Yeah, this is going to be a very windy takeoff for sure. So since we're going to back taxi, let's go lights on, landing lights, strobes, wing lights, all on. And runway 13 is to our left. All right, let's Dawson City. Here we come. Let's do it. Uh, this is going to be a gusty departure. <clears throat> gusty, gusty. Let's watch our speed. It says we're going 30 knots. Doesn't feel like we're going that fast. But let's zoom our range out a little bit. All right, I can tell the airplane is already wanting to pull to one side, just taxiing. All right, let's get on the center line. There we go. We can. Alright, let's get our timer going, start, we'll go pedo heat on, anti-ice all on for this freezing departure. Alright, let's do it, let's hold the brakes, let's pull them up to 40, stable at 40, let's go power set. Auto throttle, armed, and let's get spicy. Here we go. Airspeed's alive, 80 knots already. And we're at V1, this is gonna get interesting. There we go, positive rate, gear's coming up. There's 400 feet, flaps up, flight level change. Let's get the nose down a little bit. It's gonna go runway heading for a second here. Oh, we're almost through the clouds already, all right. We go let's go auto autopilot on start making our left turn head north we are out of here beautiful definitely gonna break out here soon nice Sweet. Two hundred fifty knots and climbing. A little bouncy. Can't even see the airport. Nah, they're buried. Airport is buried under all that weather. Little 
still a little bit windy here. Coming up on 10,000 feet. There's 270 knots for a climb. Nose is going to come down. Let's actually go nav. See what nav does. If it gets us back on course, it should. And we're above 10,000 feet. Let's go landing. Taxi lights off. And we can get the wing lights off too. Cool. Actually, let's just go direct. We should be direct to Mo Mocha. I don't know what the airplane is doing. Let's just go direct, Mocha. Direct. Make it easier on the airplane. There we go. Sweet. 16,000 feet and moving. Where's the sun? I can't see it. Beautiful. We got all clouds so far. stuff. Oops. Let's sim tool kit pro. Should be arm in our spot or our location. Cool. On our way. jump back up front. We are 20,000 feet, so let's go standard on the altimeter, 299 or 2. Let's bug our heading, 311, 310-ish. Cool. Got a little bit of a crosswind, 34 knots. All right, we'll go full screen. And we'll check everything on our middle display. Direct to our airway. Coop. 23,000 feet for 43,000. I could have did 45,000 actually. <clears throat> we sure could have. Sweet. So we can see the sun. There it is. Chasing the sun. It's going to be dark in like two, three hours. Dawson City, so hopefully we make it there before it's completely dark. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. And hopefully we can see something other than clouds on our way up. That would be awesome. Bunch of weather out here, apparently. <clears throat> Doesn't say it on Sim Toolkit Pro until looks like up up ahead of us, but 
Not down here. Cool. Yeah, I was hoping we could see some stuff. See some of the coast here. Going to be flying over all these... The coastline, at least, of... Uh, Canada and Alaska, but uh, I don't know. Why is this on here three times? Okay. Sweet. <clears throat> Alrighty, guys, we are on our way. Yes. <clears throat> oh, and there was, um, I think there was a preview video of the Ember Air uh, jet that's in development. So I want to. I have yet to watch it, so we will watch that here shortly. We'll also go over our freeware for today, our livery, and the Sandspit Airport, uh, courtesy of flightsim.to. So we'll go over those here soon as well. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a awesome holiday season. It's that time of the year. So happy holidays to all of you guys. And appreciate you guys stopping by, hanging out with us today. This will be our last live stream. Um, until the well for about a week and a half uh, we will not have it, a stream this Sunday um, and next week we will be off stream uh, we'll be having some a bunch of family stuff going on so I will be off stream next week uh, but we will be back the following week <clears throat> so that would be the week of January 2nd which the stream schedule goes out on every Monday, so that Monday the stream schedule will go out. Uh, so that would be, yeah, on January 2nd. Streams will be scheduled on the channel, so you guys will be able to see when and where we are flying. James Brigham, what's going on? Climbs out like a rocket. Oh, yeah. She sure does the uh, longitude gotta keep her gotta keep her under control she she's got the zoomies for sure no but I'm loving the loving the uh, beta G5000 beta it's uh, it's awesome so far <clears throat> loving it Loving it, loving it, my friend. Absolutely. So we're at about 34,000 feet. Climbing at 430, 43,000. Climbing a little slower. 1,600 feet a minute at Mach 0.75 which is uh, what we had in our VNAV climb profile anyway, maximum rate climb, all that good stuff. 250 knots below 10,000. Yep. 
yeah, I love the VNAV profile because you kind of like set it one time and then it it stays there. So, oh yeah, VNAV is working amazingly well. Enjoying the VNAV for sure. All clouds. All must be storming on the west uh, Canada coast. So we're actually over the water right now. Kind of going up the coastline. I think that happened last time when we flew. Um, where do we fly? We flew to. Um, Uh, what was the name of it? P A K T. Totally blanked on that airport. Catch a can, that's what it was. <clears throat> the last time we flew, I think it was Seattle to Catch a Can. It was kind of like this too. All clouds. Didn't get to see the beautiful coastline. <clears throat> Latitude outperforms the, the Citation 10. I could see that. Yeah, I know the, the latitudes are a lot more popular than the, the 10s. <clears throat> that would be sweet if we had the, the latitude and longitude in Microsoft Flight Sim. That would be sweet to be able to fly them both, but not yet anyways. Maybe one day. I need to reset our camera. There we go. Oh, she's going slow. 600 feet per minute. Pretty easy route today, though. We only had a couple. We had one, one airway and two directs. So overall, pretty easy route here. There we go. Now she's climbing again, 1,300 feet. Yeah, I love how far out the map zooms out to a thousand nautical miles. Sweet. Are we going to go by... Anchorage? I don't think so. Wait, where is Anchorage? No, Anchorage is kind of way over here, so... Not quite that far. Where is Ketchikan? Did we already pass it? Let's see. No, it's actually off to our right here. I didn't think we did. Yeah, catch can. Off to our right, cool. Ah, they start. They stopped making the, the ten, James. Yeah, I forgot about that. I totally forgot they stopped making them. Yeah, it seems like there's so many, so many latitudes in service nowadays. It seems to be the the favorite. Uh, 
NetJet seems to be uh, a big customer <laughs> for the latitudes. I feel like there's so many NetJet latitudes. Okay, we're kind of stuck at 40,000 feet. Still slowly climbing, but still have a thousand feet to go. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> yeah, the citation tens were kind of on the small side, yeah. makes sense they want to try to get more get more out of the the airframe be able to fit more people without it being too small Yeah, the G7000, they're going to be popular, yeah, 70 million to, to buy one, yeah. Yeah, with the way, uh, with the way inflation's going, I mean, it's going to be a lot of billionaires, so I'm sure they'll be first in line to get theirs. Man, I hope we get a I hope we get a golf stream in uh, Microsoft Flight Sim. Either a golf stream or a global. Hopefully. That would be sweet. Do a cabin tour, James? I would love to, but unfortunately, the Longitude does not have a cabin. Um, there's actually no design for it, so unfortunately, she is empty inside. You can see the, whoops, that was the wrong button. Uh, you can, the only thing they uh, designed were these little window cubbies. I'm assuming just to, you know, set your custom camera view on the window. Uh, but unfortunately, we do not have an actual interior in the longitude, unfortunately. We do have the cockpit though. They did uh, fully model that, but fortunately for the cabin, we only have our little uh, windows here. But they uh, they stopped at the, the cockpit, fortunately. All right, we're at about 41,000 feet. We can get some, uh, some music going. Get rid of our scratch pad.
probably change. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Because uh, the la the longitude was originally in a, a Microsoft developed plane. So, and I know the whoops. So the working title team, they developed the G five thousand um, avionics, but I don't know if they have any plans to you know redesign the interior um i think the the cj4 that came with an interior oh we can kind of see the ocean now finally there we go a little cloud break out here Yeah, I mean, I, I wish if I had the time and expertise to uh, develop, you know, anything for Microsoft, I would definitely design some sort of interior for the longitude. Maybe even the fly-by-wire A320, since, there's, since that's only... Uh, like a passenger variant. There's not a, uh, you know, private aviation style interior. But if I knew how to do that, I certainly would, would develop a uh, an interior for sure. Maybe even the PMDG 737. Just give it a refreshed interior business jet interior look Let's see if we can see anything out the right side uh, a little bit tiny bit it's a little breakout Uh, so we're almost 800 more feet till cruise. She's slowly climbing for us. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> cool. All right. I love the sun reflection off of the water. It's looks crazy real. Right. Cruise in cruise. Oh. Don't think. We can turn off our anti ice. I wonder if that had an effect on the climb performance. Forgot to turn that off. That very well could have. Because now we're climbing a lot faster. I need to actually add that to my checklist. <clears throat> I sure do. I always forget that. There we go. Now we are cruise. 43,000 feet cruising. All right. Well, now that we are at cruise, let's go over some, uh, let's go over some flight sim stuff, shall we? Let's cover our uh, freeware for today. So we just have, whoops. We just have um, the Sandspit Airport we uh, took off from today on Flight CEO and big lag, but we're back. Uh, courtesy of Mazer Mart. So 
shout out for shout out to this developer. Um, it's awesome little airport, Santa Fe Airport, uh, out on the island west Canada. CYZP is the airport code. So you got the GA ramp here. It's just one main ramp aside from the helicopter uh, helipad and ramp. So it's some nice night lighting right off of the water. So Tuesday's stream coming into Sandspit was, uh, was pretty cool. Uh, sun was setting and coming in on the island over the water. Pretty sweet uh, approach. Another aerial view. Got the helicopter hangar. And then we're back at the top. This is like the main little terminal and ramp. And was just released. Yeah, this was just released uh, 10 days ago. So, sim update 11 compatible. So, really cool uh, little airport. And then for uh, Dawson City, where we're headed today, uh, this was actually part of the world update. Was it 10? World Update 11, Canada. So this came with the premium or deluxe version of uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. So I don't have any screenshots or anything of this, but we will see it uh, when we get there. So let's go back. Um, let's see. What was our livery today? Uh, let's go to our downloads. We we're rocking the all black citation longitude livery. Let's see if I can find it. Bullet black. I believe it's this one. Yeah. So actually, let's jump outside and check it out. our camera away a little bit oh and it actually says the citation longitude on the engines I didn't notice that before. so courtesy of an arc and shout out to him for this nice livery that looks like uh, this is a latitude, so I wonder if this was uh, a replica of a real-world latitude, because this is uh, this is a real real-world picture. Nice. So yeah, just all black. Even the citation longitude on the engines is written in all black too. Sweet. But yeah, this is a real world uh, latitude, so very cool. Doesn't say Sim Update 11 compatible, but I haven't had any issues with it so far. So yeah, let's jump back in the birds. It's a little noisy on the outside. Um, and then got some previews here. Actually, let's go to go to FS Elite. See if they have all the previews and updates. All right, Toga project releases D. Nice. Interview with Airport Sim. Ibiza gets new updates. Nice. Looks like another helicopter release for Microsoft Flight Sim. Very cool. 
Uh, Mad Dog got an update, or is update in a few days. Cool. X Plane 12 was officially released. I think it was released at a discount, which is, I guess, interesting. Um, but yeah, Parallel 42 releases Flow Essentials and Flow Pro. I think I did hear about that the other day, but I haven't checked it out just yet. I wanted to see, that's an E3D. Oh yes, the A330 update. The A330 and the Embraer um, preview video. Check both of those out. Aerosoft A330 got some updates. What are they talking about here? This is from Microsoft. Showcase a handful of new external images. So let's check out some images, shall we? Whoops, can you not scroll through, I guess? No. Oh, it pops it out into a new. There we go. It's got some good detail on it. Nice. Swiss. Nice. It's a good looking airplane. Another focus uh, slash media was ice buildup on the aircraft surfaces. Uh, they're working on the icing on the nose cone and the leading edges. Cool. Yeah, it is uh, winter now, so this is the EFB. Nice. Sweet. Payload and performance. Nice. Cool. Uh, pr like pricing and release dates are still unknown. The plane is 89% complete. I was actually due to release this year, but there are delays. There are plans for the to come to people with PC and Xbox. So it's going to release on PC and then marketplace afterwards. So I think we're still still kind of a ways out probably on the Aerosoft A330, but always love a good update. Let's see, where was the Ah, here it is. The E-Jets preview. Thought I saw this video came across this video the other day so let's mute you and let's hit play actually let's zoom you in can't remember if we watched this I didn't think we did I thought it was it was a different video this one I think it's just highlighting the the airplane systems all the different pages Nice APU. I mean, yeah, this the the E jet. I mean, this looks like a nice, nice little, nice little airplane. Yeah, it's got the detail. It looks great. got like the worn weathered uh, cockpit can't remember maybe we already did watch this 
Maybe we already did watch it. I forget. But good looking bird to say the least. Let's watch it one more time. Because I'm assuming this is only this is only commercial. I don't think I've ever seen one of these as a business jet or cargo. It's right engine start. Controls check. Flaps. RTO. Nice. Speed brakes. Versers. Yeah, that's a sharp looking airplane. That is going to be a nice little bird. Very nice. Uh, what else was there? Ensbruck on its way. Where's in Ensbruck again? I forget. I feel like I've heard that name announced so many times. Oh, it's Lowy. Oh, it's that airport. Okay. They are... I think there's already a... There's already a developed version, but they're... They are making their own. <clears throat> Lots of detail. Very cool. General Aviation, nice. Sweet. Do we already have that... As a airport that came with Microsoft Flight Sim, where is Lowy? Yes, yeah. Included in the standard package of Microsoft Flight Simulator. That's what I thought. It's another super, super gorgeous airport in the midst of the mountains. Definitely somewhere we need to fly for sure. Very cool. It's in Austria. Okay, cool. Nice. Good stuff. Oh, and I wanted to check this out too. Parallel 42 releases flow. <clears throat> Brings a new, easy to navigate in game interaction wheel that is configurable in almost unlimited number of ways instead of using the default toolbar at the top. Oh, so this little thing. Get rid of that thingy. Very cool. Let's see. Convert units. Yes, it sure can. That is neat. Can it change the weather? It sure can. Interesting. Cool. Can it find my friends? Yes. It sure can. That's pretty sweet. 
can switch cameras. Yep. Nice. Ah, and it's easier to scroll through all the cameras. Interested. They can find the METAR. Nice. Cool. Released in three variations, depending on the features you wish to have. Cool. Let's watch the uh, YouTube video on it, shall we? Zoom you all the way up. these ads out of the way. <clears throat> yeah, change time, weather, all that good stuff. It's pretty cool. Sweet. Yeah, find friends. Oh, and it can mute, move you to different places as well. Switch of cameras. Can open the doors. Nice. Change servers. Sweet. It's the BBJ. Find METAR. units edit the wheel ah you can customize the wheel cool you can open panels I can do a lot of stuff. Sweet. Interesting. Oops, let's zoom you back out a little bit. So there's... There's a free version. There's, and then there's two other tiered pay versions, 15 and 25. <clears throat> cool. Interesting. I might have to check it out. I feel like I don't really use the, the bar that much now anyways. But, I don't know. Could be worth checking out. Let's jump back up front. Looking good. Speeding up to Mach 0.84. Slowly. Still cruising at 43,000 feet. See anything below us yet? Nope, not really. Let's hang out on the left wing. Ah, no, yeah, we can. I see some of the mountains back here. Cool. Sweet. We are cruising. Bum, 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 bum. Good stuff. If you guys are enjoying today's video and stream, want to show your support to the channel as always, please hit the like and subscribe button. Would greatly appreciate it as always. 
always appreciate the support and it is a huge help to the channel and we've got many more great streams and trips ahead of us uh, looking forward to another fun exciting year in the flight sim community here and coming up in 2023 where I'm sure we will have many more airplane releases scenery releases all that good stuff so uh, here's to another awesome year flying in the sim looks like we might have what is that ZY ZF I don't know what that is I guess we will call that center once we enter it if he asks us to. Let's look like our approach, our airport is in his territory. Coop. So yeah, looking forward to uh, having you all stop by, hang out with us, fly with us, chat with us here in the new year um, for all of our live streams ahead of us in the new year. I hope you guys have a awesome holiday season. Christmas, New Year's, all that good stuff. So happy holidays to you guys. And wishing everybody an awesome New Year. New Year, new me. And yeah, we do stream uh, weekly, except for next week. We'll be off for the holidays, but after that, uh, we do stream weekly and exclusively here on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Uh, afternoons, Pacific Standard Time. Uh, so if you guys do hit the uh, notification bell, uh, you'll be notified for all of our future streams, videos, uploads, all that good stuff. You will not uh, miss a beat. So yeah, looking forward to uh, you guys joining us in the new year. Because we will be back with plenty of more simming, flying, all that good stuff. Absolutely. The METAR has changed it all. I better check it on. Good. Use good old windy.com. CYDA. Dawson City. Winds are now 200 at 2. Okay. So, could do RNAV 21. What does that chart look like? Let's see. Open charts. Approach. RNAV 21. 
one. So it looks like we're coming in over over some mountains. Left base. Yeah, so maybe we should just do that. Maybe we will just do that. We'll switch it up. Let's see. Actually, let's jump back in here. Cage Josh, what's going on? Good to see you. Thanks for hopping in the stream and chat. Happy Thursday. Happy holiday season, my friend. Just realized that you can look up any METAR for the VFR map. Oh, nice. I don't even think I have that. Where is it? VFR map. Yeah, I took it off my toolbar. Where is it? I haven't used this in a while. Just look up, look up the airport, CYDA. There you go. Although it's saying the winds are calm, I just checked windy.com and it said they're 200 knots. So the winds are 200 at two. I usually always just check with uh, Windy. Oh, it'll list the frequency as well. Oh, nice. There you go. Cool. I did not know that. Thank you, sir. Appreciate the pro tip. Good stuff. All right. How are we doing? We have 43,000 feet. Looking good. Moving right along. Cool. Get the cotton candy sky coming in. Very cool. See some of the snow caps. Off to our right. Right on the coast, finally. You can see some land, finally. Somewhere. No more cloud, it's coverage everywhere. E E A, beautiful. Yeah, it is unfortunate. There is no interior design on the longitude. Maybe one day. We will get one for lucky. We will see. Bum, 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 bum. says we're about halfway about the halfway point wonder do we have a says our top of drop is 34 minutes let's see I 
Yeah, our TOD's on, uh... Is on there. I wonder if we should change our approach now. Why are we getting ready to overspeed? DJ Krazy, what's going on? Absolutely, my friend. I am right there with you. I am uh, loving it as well. Loving the longitude beta T5000 is uh, amazing so far. Absolutely loving it as well, my friend. Thanks for hopping in the stream, stream and chat. Happy holidays, my friend. Hope you are doing well. go done yeah let me check let's see what does Vatastic say yeah Vatastic also says winds are 200 at 2 knots so let's go ahead and yeah let's switch our approach to oops not that procedure Approach RNAV 21. The vector was. What was that vector? Open charts. Approach RNAV 21. I think it was the MUP. Yeah. That one. And our minimums are going to be 2680. 2680, enter, and let's load it. So I think it pushed back our top of drop a couple minutes. 35 minutes now. Now let's double check. Let's go show our route. And let's go up to Bibum. There's our top of drop right at Bibum. And then we'll. Wait, what is this? It wants us to go. To... Why does it want us to go to the airport? Why is that in there? Yeah, we're gonna remove that. Yes. Let's go back to Bivum. Uh, let's go back up to Bivum. Click on you. And then it should take us right into the star, or not star, the transition. Have them up, cool. And right down into the approach. And let me double check. Let's see, Lor Lorbu at 3300. Let's do at 3300. Enter that constraints. And we should be good. Show on map off. Let's reset. Jin Waldram, what's going on? Thanks for hopping in the stream of chat. Next time, press the takeoff button on the thrust levers. Is that also the toga button? Because I think I armed I I set that on my Bravo throttle quadrant uh, button, but I just I never used it because I didn't think it um, <clears throat> like did anything for the takeoff. But I could be wrong. Um,
Always love the longitude. Oh, yeah. About 120 sim hours. Nice. Oh, yeah. Just got a whole lot better. Absolutely. Absolutely. But yeah, Jens, I'll uh, I'll remember that for the uh, for the next next time. Because um, I did, yeah. Let me double check that. I think I did. I arm the toga button, or I mapped the toga button to. Uh, what button was that? Yeah, I have arm auto throttle as quick button and long hold as toga. So I will have to actually just remember to push the toga button because I do have it. Um, I do have it set up on my. Bravo throttle quadrant uh, The scoreboard says FMS, but you should have FMS take off. You have some extra guidance because the FD will be at 10 degrees. Ah, okay. Now I got you. Yes. Got you, got you. Yeah, because, yeah, I did notice that now that you said that, it is usually at uh, like 10 degrees. I think it's trying to follow the 200 knot VNAV speed usually uh, during takeoff. So I will uh, I will definitely uh, arm that next time. Put that on my checklist here. checklist so I shouldn't I shouldn't forget it cool watch the sunset I thought I turned the time back um, long enough so that we wouldn't it wouldn't get dark on us but it's gonna get dark on us Starting a right turn. I see some of the mountains here finally. I think we should be more direct to the airport from here. Let's see if we're going to be in. Uh... Yeah, now we're kind of coming off the coast, heading up to Yukon and Dawson City. Wow, he's got a huge territory. There's ATC coverage. 
So we'll see if... Uh... So now I need to pen this instead of RNF3. So I'll go hide you. Did I delete the wrong one? Eh, RNF3 is still there, it won't delete, but all good. Cool. We got the M M M up. Hey, appreciate it, Jens. Absolutely. Thank you for uh, for stopping by. I'm the only flying it realistically, reasonably realistic right now. <laughs> what is everybody else crashing it? <laughs> yeah, no, I hear you. Um, yeah, I've been wanting to fly the longitude for a long time, and. Um, you know, it had the G3000, <clears throat> which, uh, you know, was a was a huge, huge uh, enhancement. And now the, the G5000 just completely rounding out uh, this bird. Watch the sunset. So I have been patiently waiting for this amazing update so can't wait for it to to get out of beta and be fully released and ready to go but yeah I'm enjoying it really enjoying it so far still learning uh, a lot of the, the little like nuances with the airplane as well, so absolutely loving it. So you want to double check. Top of descent says so about 25-ish minutes, so I just want to make sure keeping an eye on that as we watch the sunset here bum, 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 bum. Figured he was gonna have us call him. 135.025. Let's jump that in real quick before we miss the sunset. 135.025. Radios. 1350. Five. Switch. There we go. And let's turn down the microphone a little bit. Cool. <clears throat> let's go back. Hey, Jens. Absolutely. Have a great evening, my friends. Thanks so much for stopping by. And happy holidays to you. Absolutely. Appreciate your support, my friend. Have a good one. 
keep flying the pr private jets and go to all the places the rich and famous go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, DJ. Um, yeah, I've been trying to, f I've been trying to fly just a bunch of, you know, like new, new airports, new sceneries. Um, but you know, there are a lot of, uh, you know, biz jets that do fly a lot of the, the stars and whatnot. So definitely can think about that as we plan more trips ahead for sure. All right, let's call Sinner real quick. Uh, let that guy respond if he's going to. Let's see. Center, good afternoon. Citation 528 Alpha, flight level 430. Number 528 Alpha, block 0114. Spark zero one one four five two F. Set our squawk zero one one four. Enter. Boom. Number five two eight alpha identified. I have the weather when ready. I'll go ahead for five two eight alpha. Five two eight alpha weather at uh, zero 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 zero. We found five that miles ten. I appreciate the weather uh, altimeter 3075 and we were planning for the RNM to run into Dawson City. I think that was it. Uh, the Arnav runway 21 uh, into Dawson City for 5 feet off. Cool. I was thinking it was 2 0. It's 2 1. Oh, the sun is setting. Yeah, the biz jets is refreshing instead of the airlines. Yeah, no, I mean the airlines are popular. There's a, uh, you know, there's a lot. There's a lot more. I think there's a little more immersion with the, the. Direct to have up down to twelve thousand at our discretion. Five foot off. So our TOD is 19 minutes, so he's sending us down to 12,000. Are we not already direct to? No, we're not. So we'll go direct. Direct to Edmut, activate. Giving us a shortcut, I'm guessing. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, it cuts a few minutes off of our TOD, so. Because let's see, we're about uh, 200 miles out, maybe. No, yeah, but uh, let's pre-select our altimeter. Yeah, no, I've I've kind of always been a kind of a, a biz jet kind of guy. Um, it's kind of been more so my my cup of tea. Um, but hey, I mean, that's the best thing about the 
the sim as you can you know fly fly whatever kind of fits your your style but i know the airlines flying the airlines is pretty popular um and i love to catch you know some of the other guys that are flying the flying the airlines because it kind of is refreshing for me in a sense a little bit um but definitely fun on both sides for sure um but oh yeah we are definitely gonna we're we are flying the biz jets for sure mix in a little uh mix in some cargo ops too i always love finding the, the cargo birds can't wait for the uh what is it the uh pmdg triple seven that'll be i'm sure lots of fun doing some cargo doing some cargo hops in the uh triple seven triple seven is my favorite uh commercial bird so that will be that'll be fun for sure Sun is just about set. As soon as the sun kind of goes behind the horizon, we'll start our uh, our descent here into Dawson City. Oh yeah, I gotta love the Boeings. I'm kind of torn though. Um, I'd probably lean a little more towards Boeing than Airbus, but I do love the Airbus as well. <laughs> Just flying the Airbus with you know the side stick versus the yoke is like that's kind of refreshing too. Just mix mixes it up. But oh yeah, the Boeings. I love the Boeing as well because I feel like there's a lot more like hands-on, uh, more buttons to push. You know, a little more immersion as far as the Boeing goes for sure. But I do love do love the Airbus as well. So I'm I'm usually pretty torn. And there goes the sun. Oh yeah, brownies. I figure we haven't flown. We never really do uh, night flying uh, on the stream. Just, just given you guys can't really see much. I kind of, I kind of can't either, because the. The um, it just at night in the sim it's just so dark everything's kind of super dark. Let's see. Oops, I'm trying to zoom out here a little bit. Yep, now the sun, she's gone. So here's nice with the cockpit is pretty great. yeah. And pretty much the scenery is uh, pretty much non-existent at night because 
it's just gets so dark that you pretty much can't can't really see much. No kidding, yeah. One with the one with the instruments, DJ. Yeah, you are 100% right on that one. That is for sure. Hey, no worries. Um, are we good to to send it uh, at our discretion for five feet off? Down to one two thousand at our discretion five feet off. Thanks. Especially with the the G five thousand and the synthetic vision, I mean, doesn't doesn't get any better doesn't get any better than that with the uh, being one with the instruments. So, oh yeah. <clears throat> so we're still about sixty miles from our TOD. I didn't think it was going to get dark on us this early, though. <clears throat> I did not. But it's all good. Okay, it's in about seven minutes till our top of drop. Oops, let's see. Let's see, in our airport chart, we wanted to park at the... On the... Be on the... The bigger, bigger side of the, the ramp here. So we'll have the back taxi. All good. So we are direct to approach. <laughs> so it doesn't look like any traffic's out here. So actually, let's switch. Navigraph tonight as well, so everything's not so bright. Cool. Oh, yeah, great job working title for sure. Yes, huge, huge shout out to the whole working title team they've crushed it since day one between this and the 
CJ4. And the G1000. Oh yeah, amazing, amazing job. Let's see, zoom you out a little bit. It's black out here. Nice. It's been a while since since I've even flown since I've even flown at night. So our uh, our landing could be quite interesting today. Uh, let's see. Let's jump back up front. Two minutes till top of drop, so I'm just going to arm VNAV now. Just make sure we get down to, yeah, 12,000. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, appreciate it, DJ Crazy. Appreciate that, my friend. Absolutely. Pleasure to have you on board. We will be flying the Longitude. Well, I'm hoping... I'm hoping it's out of beta uh, next month, January, uh, so we can, you know, kind of keep flying it, uh, kind of compare the the update from the the beta to the full release and all that good stuff. So, yeah, I'm hoping, hope we can keep flying it um, through January um, if the full release does come out next month. That would be Amazing. <clears throat> yep, follow the instruments and procedures. Yeah, we'll be good. Won't miss the runway. Yeah. I'm like 90% sure that uh, Dawson City has runway lights. 
Uh, I'm very hopeful that airport does. Um, Cause that would get very interesting if they don't kind of like uh, when we flew into first flight airport <laughs> uh, at sundown. Let's watch our speed. Um, so yeah. Let's pull the speed brakes back a little bit. Watch our speed. As the nose comes down. Uh, we keep picking up some speed. Oh, nice. You did pick up the beta. Learning some stuff. Hey. I tried to, uh, try to share all the ins and outs I can, uh, with you guys. Because... I know there's there's a lot of a lot of videos out there, so I'm just hopeful I can bring some value to you guys as you guys come to my channel and are trying out you know new airplanes and all that good stuff. I try to just kind of go through everything kind of A to Z as best as I can, and I typically will just kind of follow my own little uh, checklist to keep everything kind of similar each time so you know you guys anybody can kind of jump in and you know pick up some some learning so absolutely always glad to always glad to help my friend And there's not too many, um, you know, streamers that fly a lot of the, the biz jets. So, you know, which can probably make it a little bit harder to find, you know, like some tutorials and stuff like that. But I try to try to put as much into every stream as I can. Alright, we're about 3,000 feet a minute. Let's just watch our speed. I think, I think that's one... Uh, I think that's one thing that me and Av, I kind of have to ride the speed brake sometimes. Um, tends to over speed on the way down but I'm sure their working title team is airing that out see my channel being around for a long time oh yeah oh yeah I I do as well my friend I feel like there's so many still so many places we have yet to fly so many more airplanes that haven't even uh, been released yet that we have yet to fly and all that good stuff so oh yeah many many more trips to come for sure actually let's get our split screen for the approach and let's see let's get a little map light here if we can so we can see some stuff so we're down to 12,000 making our way direct pretty much gave us direct to the approach, which was awesome. We'll keep our approach plate up. Doesn't look like anybody's. We are the only bird out here.
So it looks like we are, yeah, max 210 at Ebmup. And then VVAB is our left base. And then Lord Pooh is our uh, glide, glide intercept. I appreciate the support, DJ Crazy, my friends. Absolutely are welcome to drop by any time. Thank you so much, my friend. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Actually, let's get uh, set the altimeter. Which we're supposed to be a little bit lower than we are. Let's set our standby as well. 3075. Winds are still 200 at 2, minus 44, 30, 75 on the altimeter. Let's start going through our approach checklist here. Won't need the ILS frequency since we're doing the RNAV. Uh, let's go to our perf landing data. Runway 21, weather, let's load you in. Weather is all in and good. Anti-ice will be on since it is going to be well, minus 44, which is crazy. Uh, except the landing speeds, 112, 123. Awesome. Good to go there. Altimeter is set, so we will get the lights on at 10,000 feet. What's our landing elevation, actually? I think it's touchdown 1215, so about 1,200 feet. So yeah, we'll get the lights on at about 11,000 feet or so. So we will start configuring VVAB is nine miles out. So when we're coming up on VVAB, we'll start on our left base, start configuring. And we'll probably configure a little early just to get set up. Cool. And it is pitch black out here. Oh yeah. Number five, Juliet Alpha, cleared out of control there, faced uh, three six miles south for the dock for the airport. For the RNAV runway two on approach, on a beam of top one two two that point, calm down to the local uh, cleared for the or switch over Unicom, uh, citation five drop and call you uh more on the ground. All right, so, whoops, no, I just transfer. There we go. So we're back over to Unicom. We'll call him back. We are on uh, Z ground. So we will just go ahead and set our bottom altitude then to our glide intercept, which is 3,300 feet. So let's set that. 3,300 in the box. That is good to go. <clears throat> uh, DJ Crazy, the next stream, so we will be off this Sunday um, and next week. Um, I'll have family in town all week for the holidays, so 
we'll be off stream uh, until we'll be back the week of January 2nd. Um, so the stream schedule will actually go out that day um, for that week. So be on the lookout January 2nd uh, for that week's uh, stream schedule to be posted uh, to the channel. So we will be back the first week of the new year for our next stream. That is the plan. Starting to see some lights down there. They slowly loading in. Can't see anything from the belly. Oh, there's some of the ground lights are starting to slowly come in for us. So since we are cleared on our own approach, let's go ahead and set our runway heading to 207. Since we are nav and our nav. All the way down. Two oh seven is set. Good to go. Two hundred fifty knots in FMS speed. Good to go. Actually, let's go flight recorder. Get you started. Uh, we we'll get that loaded in, and we're about eleven thousand feet now. So let's go. Lights all on. Landing taxi pulse lights are all on. We get the wing lights on too. So we are lit up here. Good to go. Let's jump back in. And actually the pulse lights at night, unfortunately, shine in the cockpit, but I'm sure they will, they'll fix that. So you can see they're kind of flashing in the in the cockpit here and I'm actually going to just for my eyes sake going to turn down some of the brightness on our PFDs here and our panel lighting as well because it's usually pretty bright so I can kind of get my eyes adjusted here as we are coming in. All right, let's do zoomed in a little bit more here. And let's go ahead and pause the jams. Where's our flight recorder? Okay, so technically the airport's off to our left, so not seeing any runway lights, so this could be, this could get extra interesting. <laughs> Let's see. We will see here could be actually I think actually there's a there might be a mountain or a little cliff that's covering the the runway anyway so that's probably why we can't see the let's get the speed brakes out too we're still trying to slow down to 210 
There we go, we're slowing down now. Let's get our range in a little closer. There we go. Range in on this side. And let's get our anti-ice all on since it is freezing here in Dawson City. There is our left turn. Where is Simpson Kid Pro? There we go. Cool. All right. Seven miles to VBAB. Nice and stable, 210 knots. So can we see anything yet? Looks like highway lights, that's about it. All right, let's go flaps one. We're gonna go gear down, flaps two at VVAB. And then we'll arm the approach. Oh yeah, we should be good on the, should be good on the charts. We should be all good. Yeah, there's our GPS location. Yep, we're good. Got our constraints in here too, up on the middle display. So we are good to go. Just need to remember to start our recording. Thirty-three hundred is our glide intercept. Let's go gear down. Flaps two, coming in. One hundred sixty knots. V nav. L nav taking us down. Alright, moment of truth when we get straight here. We got any runway lights. Nope, I think we got clouds. Yeah, let's go flaps full. Hundred and forty knots. And let's go replay recording. Oh, I see some runway lights slowly coming in. And let's arm the approach. Looks like we're coming in a little crooked too, so we might need to move to the left a little on the approach. All right, let's do it. Yeah, I think there's some light clouds here. I can just barely see the runway. There's our glide path. I'll let it bring us down a little more. Got our synthetic vision. Beautiful. Yeah, I can tell we're off. It's not a direct heading on the, probably because there's that little little cliff on the left of the runway. So let's go my bird. And we'll try to swing a, swing a little left turn. Let's go flight director off.
Winds are only two knots, so. Let's see if we can to the left a little bit without hitting that mountain. Let's go my throttles. Thousand. Seems like we're a little high. Two whites, two reds. Got about 5,000 feet of runway, so plenty of runway. Yeah, we are not. We're good on that little cliff, too. Two whites, two reds still. Looking good. Glide saying to be a little bit lower, so let's get her down a little bit. There we go. Nose up. Twenty on the speed, looking good. And we're down. Versus nose. Manual brakes, 50 knots, we'll stow them. Let's get the pedal heat off. And we are in uh, Dawson City, guys. We are in the mountains, but we wouldn't know it. We're just gonna back taxi, because there's no taxi. Awesome. Nice buttery landing makes up for those rough ones that we've been on a streak with. <laughs> All right, let's stop the clock. Clock is stopped. And we are going to park on the left ramp up here. We gotta kind of go all the way back to the beginning. <clears throat> Beginning of the runway. That's where our ramp is. Sweet. So we will uh, we will park on the ramp. Uh, we'll leave the airplane running and everything. Run a couple replays if we can, since it's dark. Might not really do much justice. Uh, we'll run some replays and we'll come back. We'll uh, button up the bird here and sign off. All right. Let's take a left here. Yeah, we want to park at this little FBO looking thingy here. All right. Left turn. Let's get our landing lights off. So I'm going to blind everyone. Flaps can go up. There's someone to park us. Yes, but kind of. Whoa. I don't know what just happened. I think the marshal air is behind us. We'll just park here. I don't know where he went. Oh, there he is. <laughs> My camera all over the place all right here is good cool turn that off so don't blind them uh we'll leave the let's stop the recording actually before we do that let's switch back yeah 
And center, citation 5 to Alpha. We are on the ground here at Dawson City. Clear the ramp. Uh, thanks so much for the coverage. Uh, happy to holidays. Cool. Um, sweet. So we will also actually let's switch back to Unicom and then we will sign off of that sim at negative 129 on the landing. I will take it any day of the week. Let's mark this flight as stream. Some toolkit pro that is signed uh, or saved and we'll cross close out of sim toolkit pro um, let's see so you don't want to put the parking brake on because that'll mess us up in the air let's disconnect that sim close out the pilot uh, what else do we need put the yoke back up oops there we go uh, make sure I got everything here uh, we'll leave the anti-ice on in case there's any ice and should be good. All right, let's get some iTunes back on for the replay. Let's actually set, let me get my foot off the brake. Let's go replay, let's go. Let's get the progress bar out of the way. Let's actually go to the landing gear. Is the gear cam gonna work? It's kind of. Oh, it's awfully dark. What about like the side? Man, it's super dark. Uh, yeah, DJ Crazy. So the. The only scenery that I'm aware of for Dawson City is the scenery that came with, oh, what was it, World Update 11 Canada was included in that. Um, it was one of five Canada airports that was part of that uh, update. Um, I want to say you needed like the premium or deluxe version of Microsoft Flight Sim uh, for it to be included. I could be wrong, but that's the scenery that I have for uh, today's flight. And it, yeah, it came uh, with the World Update 11 uh, Canada edition. One of the five airports uh, for that update. Yeah, I can't really can't really see much at night okay the deluxe version yeah I think I think you should have it then um, and what I didn't realize was with world update 11 that I needed to actually go in and actually physically download the that portion of the update. Learn something new every day. <laughs> so I was like, why don't I have the, I just, the sim just did the update. Why don't I have the airports? And didn't realize I had to actually go in and physically download the Canada update itself. Um, so having done that, I got all, all five of those, those airports that were included in World Update 11. <clears throat> nice approach right over the highway. I didn't even realize that coming in. That's sweet. But I am noticing with, I think what I've realized with the beta, um, and it could be like something as far as like the ground effect goes, but 
when there is any kind of wind like over 10 knots on the approach the airplane is just kind of all over the place and it's usually a hard landing Nice. Like Tuesday's stream, it was pretty gusty coming in. And yeah, I mean, I think, I think it's kind of a Microsoft thing. I think the ground effect that they just updated, I think it's just a little too much on the ground effect, but could just be me. Uh, let's run. Let's run another one. Let's do the. Uh, let's do the follow cam if we can. Whoops! Didn't mean to do that. Let's reset our drone cam. Appreciate you, DJ Crazy. Appreciate you. Thank you, my friend. That one definitely felt way better than a lot of our other landings, that's for sure. I mean, the, the night lighting in Microsoft Flight Sim is, it really is amazing at night when you're, you know, coming down toward the ground and or landing. But when you're in the air, it's just like everything is kind of pitch black. <laughs> nice. trees we got trees cool sweet all right we'll do one more um, we'll do our flyover from the end of the runway love that uh, camera angle uh, so we will go reset you and we'll reset our camera as best we can do one of these set our camera up at the end of the runway it is of course super dark where's the end of the runway oh I didn't realize we were that far down the down the runway. Here's the end of the runway. Lights. So let's go pause. Reverse. Bring her back nice and slow. Cool. Yeah, but it is something else to see to see at night. Unfortunately. Whoa, get our camera set here. <clears throat> bum, 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 bum. Bring her in. The light, the lighting is amazing too with the the longitude uh, updates. Yeah. Decent flare, reversers, beautiful. 
beautiful. Loving this jet. Absolutely DJ crazy, myself included. All right, so let us get our camera over here at the, the little FBO over here as our bird makes its way back. <clears throat> Let's jump back in the bird. Go through our landing checklist. So we stopped our clock. Let's get the anti-ice all off. Um, we can get our split map off. Zoom you in. Why not? And we'll get some flood light on. So we can see something. Brakes are hot from the replay. That's all good. Uh, let's start the APU. She's starting. She's coming in. The night lighting is crazy. Do some CJ4 flights. Yeah, the only reason I stopped with the CJ4 is because it didn't have the the auto throttle. Uh, I got a little uh, spoiled with the auto throttle. So having to manually, you know, work the throttle the whole flight gets kind of tiring. But it is a it is a beautiful plane, that's for sure. I did absolutely enjoy the CJ4. Welcome to Canada's Yukon. Nice. Cool. Let's jump back in here. Let's go yoke out of the way for a second. And I always forget the replay when it's done playing. Let's get the AP gen on. Uh, turns the, puts the throttles up for whatever reason. All right, so we've got the APU gen is on. Let's pause the jams for our spool down. Uh, so we need to go left. Let's go left and right gen. Not reset, but off. And set both engines to stop. Beacon. Make sure we leave those lights on. Beautiful. All right, APU is on. We'll leave the APU on as we sign off here. All that good jazz. That is going to wrap it up for today's flight, guys. Tis the season here in Canada. Minus 44 degree weather. It's crazy. Um, yeah, let's jump outside on the ramp, shall we? Can't really see much on the ramp here. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one uh, as much as I did. Thank you each and every one of you guys for stopping by, hanging with us. And if you did watch uh, the stream replay at a later date, thank you so much. Uh, for stopping by and checking out the stream and channel. Uh, thank you guys for joining in the chat. DJ Crazy, appreciate 
you stopping by and hanging out with us today, my friend. Happy holidays to you and yours. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Jens Waldron, thank you so much for stopping by, hanging out with us today. Who else was in the chat? Cajun, Ga Cajun Josh, thank you, sir. Brownies, good to see you. James Birmingham, thank you so much for stopping by. Charles Johnson, great to see you, my friend, as always. Happy holidays to all of you guys as well in the chat. I uh, hope you guys have an amazing holiday season and New Year, Christmas, all that good stuff. Um, and yeah, if you guys enjoyed today's stream and want to show support to the channel, please do hit the like and subscribe buttons. I would greatly appreciate that. It is a huge, huge help to the channel. And it's always appreciated. Uh, I do live stream weekly and exclusively here on Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Uh, so if you do hit the notification bell, you'll be notified for all of our future streams. We'll be off this Sunday and all of next week uh, for the holiday week and all the things that I have going on. But we'll be back the week of January 2nd. So look out for the stream schedule to be posted that, that day on uh, January 2nd uh, for our next live stream when we'll be back. Um, so yeah, I've also listed some of uh, my favorite playlists of our past streams. If you guys want to check them out, they are in the video description below. Uh, if you guys want to check out some of our other airplanes, routes, sceneries, liveries, all that good stuff, uh, you can check those out in the description below. Um, again, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Appreciate each and every one of you guys. And yeah, hope everyone has a wonderful Christmas, New Year's, holiday season all together. Uh, appreciate each and every one of you guys. Uh, hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. And yeah, we'll be back uh, first week of January. Uh, till then, guys, we will catch you guys in the next one. Later, guys. See ya. Peace.